Spears here with a look at the forecast. Hey, Chris. Hey there. Good morning. Heading up to ski. Well, not too bad right now in terms of those uh, roads. However, things are going to change through time today. And tomorrow's a big uh, President's Day holiday. So a lot of people up in the high country, teens and single digits across all of Colorado for the most part this morning. 22 at Colorado Springs, 28 in Boulder for just a few of the exceptions. And we are below zero in high mountain valleys. Uh, Paul, little fog out there northwest of Gunnison, one below zero. It's five at Jonathan's house down in the Telluride Mountain Village. Ten inches of new snow yesterday. A lot more on the way. Here's why. Uh, yesterday we said front one would come through with some showers. It did, plus that squall over by DIA. Unfortunately, front number two comes in tonight, and this is going to bring widespread snow and much, much colder air. Snow develops in the high country through the day today. By sunset tonight, we'll start to see snow developing in the foothills and uh, along the front range. Then that becomes more widespread into the overnight and on Monday. And then for your day on Monday, it's just off and on snow showers all day long. Uh, mainly light snow, but we'll see a few different waves roll through and that may go right into Tuesday morning. All of the alerts in southern Colorado at this point. Notice nothing for northeast Colorado, Denver, or the foothills. Uh, pretend we have an advisory in effect because we're going to see a long duration of cold and snow. Here's one model. It says lighter totals northern Colorado, heaviest totals in southern Colorado with the exception of our front range uh, mountains and foothills. We'll see a little enhancement. Uh, this is the RPM model. It tells a very similar story. Lighter totals north, heaviest totals south, and then that little enhancement right along the front range mountains and foothills. Let me show you Denver and the Front Range closer. Uh, two to four in general along and east of I-25, three to six and four to eight west of I-25 into the foothills. And the RPM model tells a very similar story. Uh, I want to mention this is a long duration event. This is tonight through Tuesday morning. So it's going to take a while to get these totals in a few areas, but we are expecting just a long period of cold, snowy travel. Highs today, uh, teens and 20s up high, 30s out west and east. Once we fall below freezing tonight, we are going to stay there. Uh, we may not see 20 degrees for two to two and a half days as we get this slow moving storm rolling through. Uh, we think we'll get the sunshine back in here Wednesday. A lot of cold and some off and on light snow ahead.